Sing like him if I play his guitar. <laughs> um, I would like to sing a song for uh, other women my age. You know, it's been a um, 2010. There were a couple of disappointments for me. The realization, and other women in this room might feel the same thing. The realization. I mean, I know that it was a long shot, but I will never be the first female prime minister of our country. <laughs> That hit me hard. <laughs> Nor will I be the first Australian saint. <laughs> that hit me hard as well. But I remember I come from a long line of very strong women. You know, my mum was a singer. My grandmother before me was a milliner and a very, very hard worker. And she told me when I, my grandmother is still with us. She's 91, heading towards 92. And she's just so gorgeous. I've learned so much from her. And uh, she said to me when I was a little girl, and as I, as I said, you know, we uh, unusually people of her generation, you know, the, the women of her generation don't normally work as hard as she did, but she's still to this day, she's, she's the oldest Avon lady. <laughs> and uh, she's the reason I sparkle. She's been an Avon lady in Theberton in uh, South Australia for, uh, for 40 years. I have known what I'm getting for my birthday and Christmas for all that time. <laughs> But she said to me when I was a little girl, I remember one of her bedtime stories, and she said to me, you know, dear, it won't happen in my lifetime, but in your lifetime, you're going to see a female leader of this country. She said, it won't happen while I'm still alive. And when Julia Gillard got in, I rang Grandma and I said, Grandma, how about that? It did happen in your lifetime. We do have a female Prime Minister. She said, yeah, but I don't like her. <laughs> everywhere because I just wonder with all the progress that we women have made, with all of the, the things that we've done to get women noticed, you know, equality is, uh, you know, it, it's certainly, you know, it's a whole lot easier to get by in my world than it used to be. And I just wonder, with all of the progress that we've made, do we still get to use the lifeboats first? Because Adam and I are going on two cruises this year and if they're going down, I'm playing the girl card, all right?
But is her fortune cut if we don't get to use the light bulb?